Hello, Robbie Wong here. I am joined by my co-host. This is Winston Wong. We're going to watch Robbie try to make it to <laughs> Diamond 1. No, no, Diamond 4. Diamond 4. The floor of Diamond. Yes, where it's, it's, it's very comfortable, I hear. So this deck, we'll go ahead and do a deck tech real quick. we got a bunch of flying dorks here. We have, oh, this is my take on Mono Blue. I've splashed for Staggering Insight. So we have 12 Flying Dorks, we have 12 Curiosities, and we have about 12 Disruption Spells. Raisin Borrower can obviously fit in this category as a slightly more expensive. Sphinx of Foresight is filling the slot for the Jin. Uh, and it, it has, we're really focused on trying to maximize the number of busted draws, because I believe that this deck, when it has its busted draws, is really, really, really difficult to interact with, and then you get to do your thing and, and close it out. So I am was able to make Mythic two seasons ago with this. Last season, it kind of got me to about Diamond, and then Yarok Fields is what finished it off. So this season, which ends a couple weeks from now, we started with some historic ramp, and we switched, and we're trying to... Ramp. The what? Historic Bant Ramp. Yes, Historic Bant Ramp. Oh, we won the die roll. Oh my gosh. Already winning. <laughs> it's it's everything we want. The, we've got lands. We've got Staggering Insight. We've got Disruption. Go, go, go. Yeah, okay. Luris of the Dr So this is probably the mono-white uh, enchantments or white-blue enchantments. Uh, they don't usually play a lot of... Is that where you want your face no. cam? <laughs> Thank you. Um, they don't usually have a lot of removal. They've got the... Uh, I don't want to see you yet. The dinosaur exile card after sideboarding. Okie dokie. Let's have another staggering insight. It's a little unfortunate. I have to double stack it on the ornithopter. Because then I, I lose lifelink on one of them, more or less. But I think getting the cards is really critical. Okay. We're going to spell pierce whatever enchantment they play. Hopefully it's not a one-mana enchantment. <laughs> they didn't play a land first. Post-drop, land of shame. I don't know if they drew that. Oh, were we just hoodwinked? I think we were. I think we were. Uh... Okay, so now you want a brazen borrower. Now I want a brazen borrower, but now I I think I want to put the pedal to the metal, and yes. I, I really want to play Sphinx of Foresight. So let me let's attack. Let's see what we draw. Draw a bunch of cards. So yeah, let's let's accelerate. Opponent played that really well. Okay, so we we're 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 in for a beating here. Maybe even dead. You can jump, right? I I think. I don't think I want to chump just quite yet. Okay. I mean, if the option is between dead and chump, then the choice is chump. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, that's not the Brazen Bower, and we, we really need to be digging pretty heavily towards that, but this this can help keep us alive. And then if we play this Curious Obsession, we can still Brazen Bower. And I want to put it on the Ornithopter. Yeah, okay, so we're, we're really shooting for Brazen Power here, of which there are only one. That is not a Brazen Power. No, That's it's none of those. Bar. Okay, so now I think. I play Siren Storm Tamer, and then I'll chump, and then I'll just I, I keep digging for Brazen Borrower. 
Yep. And we have Spell Pierce and Dive Down up. We are not in a good place. We are losing this race. And we're, we're fishing for one card. Can I play to your outs? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Holy cow. <laughs> uh oh. It's a good thing they can't make it trample. So that's probably the, the only thing we have going for us right now is, is we can chump. And we have evasive threats, so their their flying thing isn't as powerful as, as other versions. But yeah, until we until we can deal with this, I wonder if I'm gonna block. Gain twenty seven. I, re I recommend blocking <laughs> and sacking if you can. <laughs> That's true. That's very, very true. I don't know what they have for flash. I don't even think they have flash. Just give it flying again. I think I'm going to save my spell pierce. I'm not sure for what, but it's like, that's not, I mean, it's already, th this creature is already monstrous, so it's. Okay, come on. We're going to, again, Brazen, Brazen Borrower is our, our hope. Funny that gaining nine life a turn is not good enough here. Okay, see what we get? <laughs> oh, this is so many cards, it's silly. Okay, I'm discarding at least a land. I wonder if you should have uh, flashed the octopus to gain one life and draw an extra card um, under the Ornithop there. Okay, so let's go Ornithopter. That's our Chumper. And then in the event that we survive, uh, Sphinx of Foresight. Sphinx of Foresight also gives us two Scries. Yeah. And it, and 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 you're you're saying play to your out. You know, once we clear, once we clear the spirit dancer, we've we've got to close pretty quick because Luris is going to be able to collect a bunch of these back, and you know we're we're in the same position. We have this this awkward song and dance where we we can we can keep up a endless stream of of creatures, but. 71. <sighs> Man, and our, our hand looks so good. <laughs> we it survived. Was good. His hand was better. Or their hand was better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kitchen sinks. Ha! Yeah. I like their name. For sure. Okay, so let's, let's, we have one. Let's bottom this looking for Sphinx, or for... Spell Pierce is not the droid we're looking for. Yay! That's, that does make me happy. Okay, so at, at this point, uh, I think I'm going to take your suggestion of, of, of Sea Dasher octopusing. It also it lets me... Attacks. Huh? After attacks before damage. Yeah, uh, and it also gains me two life uh, if I put it on the Ornithopter. Yes, that's... Come on, Sea Dasher. What a silly game. <laughs> oh. It's only 15 damage a turn isn't enough. <laughs> it is not. What a, what a silly, silly game. Okay, so let's cast another Sphinx so we can scry three. Okay, 
Let's play Ornithopter as the Chumper. And let's... That can be it. We'll keep up Dive Down and Spell Pierce, although the relevance of... We're going to discard one, two, and uh, Spell Pierce. Uh, I want to keep making my land drops. Yep. I think, I think Spell Pierce is losing a lot of its text. Yeah? Yeah, when they rebuild, you can block their seventh uh, enchantment. Oh! You know, that Lofty Denial I threw away? I think it was, I think it was worth keeping for this event in case we could, we could stop the, the Luris. You know the the other fun thing is I can almost I can almost take a hit from this 39 39. Oh no, it's a 45 47. Definitely blocking. How many cards are left in my deck? 27. Okay, we're getting close here. <laughs> Okay, scrying everything that isn't a brazen borrower. <laughs> hey, Dina. She's oh, can Never mind. That's pretty much free, right? I'm gonna scry it. It's just not these scry these scry twos. Yeah. Hey, it was more or less free. Okay, so they have. So I I think I need to do it on my turn, because if they if they counter me, no, I'll be able to pay for it. Depends on how they counter. It might be a hard counter. Yeah. Also, we're running out of cards in our deck too. I should. I should. Yeah. <laughs> factor that in. Um. Okay, so let's let's swing in because that that's the only thing that's for sure. Six, eleven, twenty. Hi. I think there's a serious consideration. Like, I think I'm going to deck myself, actually. I need, like, four turns for this to work. Okay, so I, I think my play to win line is... Brazen Borrower right now, and then dump all of my critters and hope that I can keep up with the damage output. Karametra's because he can only re only return one thing from the graveyard every turn, right? Yeah. This one. Counter that one, please and thank you. Okay, so I have five mana left. So I'm going to go Sphinx and uh, Siren Storm Tamer, just max it out. No, I'll, I'll, I'll do Spectral Sailor, because if, if I, if I want to dive down, I should, I should dive down. All right, I'm going to bail on you, I'm going to bail on you, and I'm going to bail on this dive down, because I have three. He's got a lot of cards. Yeah. Yeah, the life gain on that is is, is critical. Uh, yeah, the the I think the lofty denial that was a pretty huge miss. Like, not not taking my shot at at um, keeping the Luris off so that their second wave isn't isn't so scary. You know what? I'm I'm pretty sure we're dead. Let's move on to the second game because they they have so much life link, and we we. We only have 20 cards. We were drawing 8 cards. 
Yeah. Can you spell pierce this? E no, I don't have a spell pierce. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna consult. Oh. Let's go to game two. You know, notably, this does not stop the enchantments. So it's one game. Um so negate stops the enchantments. And they, they usually have some of these. Um, I like entrancing melody if we can if we can fight through it. Okay, so what what, what counter spells do I want to go into battle with? Well, it didn't look like he had any, or they have any um, disruption for your stuff, other than the Karametra's Blessing. Yeah, I think but this... that doesn't mean they don't board in a bunch of that. Yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trade the Spell Pierces out for the Negates. Sure. And the Dive, the dive Downs. I'll keep one put the negates in because that the negate also stops the um, baffling end enchantment okay I think I like this mystic mystic dispute instead of spell pierce um, okay let's be on the let's be on the play again oh kitchen sinks couldn't make this easy for me. Of course, the kitchen sinks is on a life game. Oh, can't keep this. I need a dork. Oh, uh, I, I can steal their guy and then make a curious obsession. I, I need a mulligan this. Yep. Okay, we're gonna keep this. We'll throw back one of the hallowed fountains. We're gonna throw back uh, island yeah I think so because we we're gonna have um, a scry from Sphinx scry from Sphinx and we also uh, so unfortunate all, all the Sphinx is showing up now you know what's at the bottom of your library yeah it's not this not the not the start we wanted but it's the start we got we've got Miss Cloaked Herald, Ugh. can't even attack. Okay, we 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 need the next card to be a curious if we're going to be in this. I think I'm going to lofty denial a core spirit dancer and any curious obsessions that they're going to run. I think everything else I'm gonna I'm gonna leave alone. Especially when we're we're playing a deck that wants to draw two cards a turn normally and we're only drawing one. Okay. Timeout. Dishonorable victory. Did they? Uh, they're they're thinking, or had to step away, or cat jumped on the keyboard. Whoa, whoa, that's that's pretty huge. That has to be something unfortunate. Uh, I'm not gonna question it. Go go go! <laughs> Quickly before they come back. <laughs> I do, I, I do not possess that much honor. <laughs> do not currently possess that much honor. We'll take my victories however I can. I'm not going to cheat. When it's for what, what's floor. up? It's for the diamond floor. I mean, like I'm not going to cheat. Not that you really 
can in Arena. I mean, I, I wouldn't if if they had their stream up, I'd shut it down, right? But I I've got I've got wild cards to gain and packs to open. <laughs> oh no! I, I this is this is a uh, two in a row. They're out of timeouts as well. Yeah, they've probably got a server disconnect. I was uh I was playing the other day. I was playing Jumpstart, and uh, I was about to win. I had lead one board, and I got a server disconnect. I'm like, oh no! no. And then and then I noticed who I was playing. I'm like, hey, I recognize that username, and I jumped online and said, hey, are you playing uh playing playing uh, Arena? It was yeah, it's not going so well. <laughs> And it's like, well, I got a server disconnect on this side. It's like, oh man, you you totally had that game. It's like, no worries. I mean, it's just jumpstart, right? Losses don't mean anything. Uh, and it was it was a good game otherwise because they had cast a pursued whale and Ooh. and I was like, yeah, it was uh, it was yeah, a giant eight eight on board, but I had I had ways to get around it. That's a so, spicy spicy meatball. Yeah. You know. I, I'm going to go ahead and push my luck here with the Sphinx and go Shields down. If you want your fry, buy us a drink. Will it go to a third game or will it just... Uh, I think at this point it just, it just stops. Yeah. It, it, it ends. Oh. I'm sorry, Kitchen. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, it would have been an interesting game. Yeah, I, I feel bad for you. Um, staggering, The staggering insight came at a timely moment. Oh! All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my God. We did it. Maybe they're watching the stream and they're like, we got we to we give it to him. I'm in tier four. <sighs> All right. <laughs> All right. Just four tiers till mythic. Just four. Yeah, that's that's it. You know, really, it's eight games. We could we could do that by tomorrow. Um, well, I'm Robbie Wong. Uh, congratulations, Robbie. This is Winston. Uh, <laughs> be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll catch you next time. Yeah, we'll we'll switch decks next time too, since we're on the floor. Get some more experience on this season. All right.